free, the free will, yeah. the free will is, you know, that, that's asked of every spiritual teacher, like, yeah. well, what's your stance on free will? Yeah. And uh, what I would, what I would uh, say is uh, I'd like to give an experiential answer, because the answer of free will is the idea that there is a separate entity called me that has a will. Yeah, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. First of all, there's a me having a will choosing stuff. Okay, so when uh, the Course in Miracles talks about layers, you know, illusion, yeah, and uh, I'd say, I'm paraphrasing, but the Course in Miracles could be like moving the blocks to love or removing the blocks of separation, the experience of fear and separation. Now, to experience being in a separated state, you would also have the experience of an individuated will. Because if I'm not if I'm not making sense, then you know, in the individu individuated will means I identify as a body with my thoughts, and I'm choosing today whether I'm going to have a bacon sandwich or a cheese sandwich. Mm. Okay, so I'm really I'm really confused because I can't decide whether I'm going to have a bacon sandwich or a cheese sandwich for dinner. You know, and I'm I can't use my free will. Now that seems to be, well. When you're identified with the body and your thoughts as a separate entity, then the experience is you have free will. Yes? But if you go, if you ever experience being in the witnesser, where everything is spontaneously arising in the moment, and there doesn't seem to be a limited identity, like, like something speaks, something's walking, like, you know, a baby that hasn't learned words might be saying gaga. Did it decide to say gaga? You know? Or was it just coming out spontaneously out of the universe, without it going into, into a story that there is a me choosing whether to say Gaga or not, mm. you see? So, or you could say that the baby says Gaga, and then when it gets old enough and it's taught how to think, then it says, when Gaga comes out, it says, look, oh, I, I decided to say Gaga now, you know, because I'm very clever and I know Gaga. Probably wouldn't say that, but there you go. So then the ego has got the grandiose story of how it's choosing stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'd say is experientially, I'll answer experientially, otherwise I'd get, you know, when you're identified with your body and your thinking, I would say your experience is there is free will. Uh, when you transcend it to being the observer, everything is spontaneously arising, arising out of nothing. So there isn't a, an individual there asking the question, did I just choose to say hello three seconds ago? And questioning, was that a free choice question or did that just spontaneously arise in the moment? So hopefully I've cleverly answered that without making, you know, in the sense that, because if you make a position on it, like there is no free will or there is free will, like people can have an argument with you. Mm. And if you say, uh, <laughs> you know, because you always get someone clever <laughs> saying, well, that's that, because he's thinking about arguing. Yeah. You know, so they'll come up like, well, this teacher said there isn't free will. <laughs> And that teacher said there is free will. Mm. So what do, you, what do you think of what that teacher said? <laughs> so I say, well, what's your experience? When you're identified, there, your experience is experientially there is free will. When you're in the observer, there is no separated entity choosing this or that. You want to say something else or put the camera off? Um, yeah, um, no, thank you for your answer.